we're still finding some things out. Uh, you know, the nice thing for us is, uh, you know, we've got two very good non-conference opponents in, in Grand Forks, Red River, and West Fargo. Uh, so we get to find out in a hurry how good we are or how where we sit. Uh, our goals are always the same. Our goal is always to win a state title, and, and uh, uh, certainly that's no different than this year. Uh, we've got a long way to go, but uh, we've been very happy with our progress so far. Well, we got two All-State kids coming back. Uh, you know, we've got uh, John Tharlson, who's an All-State uh, receiver. We've got Hayden Gibson, All-State quarterback. And so certainly we're going to look for them early to, for some leadership and uh, kind of lean on them. Hayden has improved a lot in the offseason, really working his arm strength. Uh, it's coming off his hand better than I've seen last year. We got a couple linebackers that came back. One just got hurt, but he's hopefully going to get a good recovery. The linemen hit the weight room hard this year. They're looking stronger and quicker. Um, we have our running backs coming in, stepping in, playing really well so far. Uh, definitely Johnny. He's a freakish athlete. Uh, he uh, get off the ball really well. He's very strong, very physical. Very fast, great hands. I mean, everything I want from a wide receiver. We have a couple of linebackers here returning. That'll, that'll definitely help us out. And then we have some linemen returning. So, pretty excited for that. Uh, uh, we'd still like to run the football, but our, our team strengths right now is, is our receivers and our quarterback. And so, uh, probably early, uh, we're gonna have to throw a lot more than we're probably accustomed to. Um, you know, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I guess we'll find out. Um, you know, a lot of that come down, comes down on me and my stubbornness as far as a play caller. But, uh, uh, you know, if, if kids are talented, and you, you've got to exploit those talents. And uh, certainly that's, that's one area we feel we've got to strengthen. We've lost uh, an All-State running back in Ricky Galindo. So we've got two kids that are going to spell him, uh, be Jackson Ford and uh, Dalton Sanders. Uh, you know, I've, I've been real pleased with our full, our returning fullback, Noah DeBoard. Uh, he's done a great job for us in the fullback uh, area, and he's, uh, I think we're gonna get, he's gonna get a few more touches this year than he has in the past. Uh, you know, I think uh, our offensive line is centered around two of our returning starters and Sam Neubauer and, and Luke Keller. And those two kids have, uh, uh, have provided great leadership. Uh, and then our tight end, Jacob Schultz, uh, uh, we'd, we'd like to see if we can get him to catch a ball some more, throw him the ball, give him some more touches also. Uh, so offensively, we've got a few guys coming back that should help us a little bit. Leadership. Defense is probably our biggest hit. Uh, we lost our entire defensive line, our entire uh, defensive backfield. So, you know, we're going to take some lumps on that side of the football, and we know that. And so there's going to be some growing pains. Uh, but we're going to build around uh, some returning linebackers for us. And, and those three kids are going to have to, uh, uh, they're going to have to take their game to a different level than they did last year. Uh, our three returning linebackers are Brody Rolfs, uh, Alex Seibel, and Peyton Kringley. It's of course our overall goal by the end of the season to get to that state championship game, but we have to take it day by day, um, practice by practice, game by game before we get there. Uh, we don't really focus on uh, getting to the state championship right now. Uh, right now it's, uh, we're focusing on Wednesday practice, we're focusing on uh, the scrimmage, the bowl scrimmage, but uh, we just got to get better. <laughs> One, two, three, three, three. <laughs>